Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at DynamoDB, which is a key value and document NoSQL database, which can guarantee consistent reads and writes at any scale. So to really understand DynamoDB, we need to understand what is NoSQL. And I can tell you what it's not. It is neither a relational uh, database and does not use SQL to create the data for results. Uh, and the key thing that's different is how the data is stored. So it can be either key value or document. So looking first here at key value store, this is a form of data storage, which has a key which references a value and nothing more. Okay, so that is one data structure you can have in DynamoDB. The other one is document storage. So this is a form of data storage which has a nested data structure um, there. So that is what they call the document. So hopefully that makes uh, a bit of sense. So DynamoDB is a no SQL key value and document database for internet scale applications. And it has a lot of great features. It's fully managed, multi-region, multi-master, durable database, built-in security, backup and restore, and in-memory caching. So you can see why this is AWS's flagship database that they're always promoting because it has so much functionality uh, at scale. It can provide eventual consistent reads and strongly consistent reads, which we will talk about in the DynamoDB section here. So don't worry if that doesn't make sense just as of yet. Uh, and you can specify the read and write capacity per second. So whatever you need, you just say, I need 100 uh, reads and writes per second, and then you, you just pay that cost. So there they are. Um, and we will, again, we'll talk about this in greater uh, detail in the DynamoDB section. Uh, and the last thing I want you to know is that uh, the data is stored at least across three different regions uh, on SSD storage. So those are really fast drives, uh, which makes your data extremely durable to failure. So there you go. Okay, so I made one really, really big mistake here, uh, which I've corrected here. And it's the fact that uh, all data is stored on SSD storage and is spread across three different AZs. The reason I thought it was regions uh, was because um, when I read the documentation, it said geographical locations. It didn't really say AZs. And so I took the guess and thought it was region. But when I thought about it, and I you know, I talked to some other people that know DynamoDB better than me, uh, they pointed out that no, it's, it's gonna be data centers. And that makes sense because if you have a feature called global tables and allows you to copy to other regions, it just doesn't make sense. So sorry for that mistake, but it's actually uh, three different AZs. It's technically three different data centers, but we'll just call it AZs for the sake of simplicity. Um, and yeah, that's that correction there.